Hey guys, so um, I've been asked by a lot of people to um, just kind of go through um, how I make adjustments in my tune files. So based on data, um, especially on vehicles that are just now up and running or um, are vehicles that maybe they've been tuned previously and the tune was not very good or there was you know something wrong with them or something. Um, and so we're going to go through a tune file of a truck that is um, a pretty nice one. I'll post a video uh, and a picture of it uh, here in the video. Um, this is a 2005 Chevy Silverado uh, single cab truck um, that's uh, pretty nice. Um, has, it's been lowered, good wheels and tires, nice paint job, good interior, basically all the good stuff. And it has a Emerald Coast Performance Machine built 6.2 liter motor with some good hand ported uh, rec port heads and a um, Texas Speed LS3 Bald Eagle Boost Cam. vehicle is currently um, running just a rec port truck intake manifold um, as well as um, just some 1261 3412 flex fuel 50 pound injectors it has a 90 millimeter um, truck throttle body texas speed headers um, and then it has a really nice um, equal length uh, corsa um, corvette style ish exhaust that sounds really 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 good um, and it runs 93 uh, pump gas, and it has electric fans, and a really nice 4L60 transmission, and 410 gears. Um, and this thing is really strong. And this thing um, had been tuned previously, had a different motor in it, uh, had a pro charger and some other stuff. And so the file that we're gonna work with, um, I've already done some corrections uh, for the customer um, just to get them up and running, uh, but we're gonna kinda go through, um, this is kinda where the file is right now. And we have a short list of things that we need to go in and adjust uh, for them for the next data. And we're also going to look at a, a data log uh, with some of the channels that I sent. And uh, yeah, just kind of go through that. So the first thing is um, we are having some issues with, and this is a, a family vehicle owned by a family member. Um, and so the first thing is that uh, when we got this vehicle, it had a Nick Williams 102 throttle body and an X, and has an X-Link because it's a Gen 3. And... It took us a day or uh, a half of a day or so to figure out the the correct X link that we had and what we needed and the throttle body that we needed and we had issues with it starting and not wanting to start and we just kind of couldn't figure out what the deal was. Um, this truck does have a very nice Deechworks uh, drop-in pump and fuel system because it is just a few moments away from getting a um, LSA style supercharger. Um, and injectors, you know, so everything is kind of centered around that. But, you know, the truck is still up and running right now and it runs very well. So item number one in this file that we need to go in and fix, uh, and you can go up here. This will tell you um, what you're looking at. Um, and also it would not be a good idea, uh, uh, not be a bad idea to have a, go to the HP Tuners repository and download a stock file um, for this vehicle, which I do have and we'll get into. But the first thing that we need to do is um, we're having issues with the AC system and that it is um, blowing the uh, pressure cap and some of the stuff like that. Um, and so we're gonna go in here and this truck did, I think it came with electric fans. If it did not, um, then selecting the two fans is what you would do. And then this is how I have my, um, this is just an on off switch, okay? So this is how I have my um, fans on, on and off setup. And what you can do is you can go and you can open a compare file have a stock tune file repository on my computer here and you can open up something i think this 53 silverado file had yeah this truck had you can toggle between the two this is my file and then this is the compare um it has a, this vehicle has 165 degree thermostat um and so this is definitely gonna be too high we want to bring this way down especially if it's going to be boosted um you can this will show you the comparison and the differences um and so the biggest thing we're having an issue with is right now the AC fans disable speed is set to zero so when the vehicle is just sitting and idling um, the fans um, will not kick on which we need them to so if we look here 45 miles an hour so we just want to return that back to um, and you can go here and we'll hit zero and you notice now that both files are the exact same so again we're trying to whoops trying to kind of model that 
um, off of a stock calibration. Um, and we'll just keep this one in the background for right now. Um, the next thing, uh, so we fixed that. The next thing um, is that the throttle is a little too um, um, aggressive in terms of its ability to open, especially going over bumps and things like that. So if we go here to torque management and to general, ETC TPS max, okay? We always want 0% to be at one. That way we don't have runaway throttles or things like that. Um, I will a lot of the times go in and set this to 100, especially for bigger vehicles or mild, more mild combinations, just to make sure that the throttle is not really limited. Um, the rate at which the blade can open at the percentage that you can see here on this side. Um, and so this is what a stock file would look like. Okay, and so if we go over here and highlight the whole table, and customers basically just uh, not complaining, but just noticing that going over bumps, it's just it, the throttle blade will just can fly right open. So this is what we have right now. And what I might do is go something like this, maybe down to like 60% throttle and just type in two and just multiply this one, two, three, actually no, change my mind on that. We're gonna go from here and go down to 60 or 70 or so, and then just hit Oops, oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. We want to reverse all that. Yeah, that's silly. We don't want to do that. Here we go. So we go over here, and we want to make just the differences none. We want to set it back to stock. Um, go over here. So now it's set back to stock. It looks like this because I haven't saved it. So we want to go in here at 10% throttle. And for right now, maybe just go to 50% and just hit two and we can hit multiply and then we can take that last deal right there and just do a vertical interpolation um and you can take that out and drive that and just see how that does for you um and if it's still too aggressive again you, you can always return it back to stock um some people like it some people don't some people don't say anything so no harm no foul there okay so that was something that they had asked about the next thing is going to be the um limiter um, so we're going to go over here and this is currently set at 6200 you can see that factory it's like 6000 uh, we're going to set this to maybe 6600 park neutral cutoff uh, we'll say 6600 in gear um, the cutoff we'll say is going to be 6600 the resume we're going to set that about 50 rpm less so 6550 and then if we come down here to the bad VSS resume, we want to set this to 6550, 6550. And then we will go into our electronic throttle control gear based and we can set this to 6600 as well and hit equals. There again, this combination is pretty powerful. Um, I would be surprised um, if it was able to spin this far and not, um, and not light the tires up. Um, so, the next thing, speaking of lighting the tires up, is that we're, we are having a little bit of an issue where the one-two shift is pretty, um, is pretty um, aggressive. Um, and the if we go over here to the, I have altered some of the shift pressure stuff. So if we go over here to shift pressures, we can see what's in it right now, and we can see what the differences are stock. So a um, little weird looking. Um, I've, I took some out here in this part throttle range. Um, and so instead of doing anything with the shift pressures, we're going to go over here to torque management. Torque management is one of the things that is going to decide whether or not the transmission has the ability to live. Okay. So we're going to go over here. Ooh, interesting. So if we click the compare file, we'll see this is zeroed out. That's not correct. So we need to go to another vehicle of a similar year that we know has torque management in it. We'll go to this 2004 Yukon file. There you go, these values are bigger. Okay, so that's gonna tell us that the torque management is 100% in. This is the amount of spark that's gonna be pulled on the um, shifts. So we're gonna go ahead and set these to zero. I'm not gonna change anything else in the transmission. I'm also gonna copy this and I'm going to paste this into my performance table. So I'm not gonna change too much here. I just wanna see if this one change will uh, kind of get me where I wanna be. Um, so that will take care of that. So um, we fixed the um, throttle opening and we also adjusted the torque management. 
and we also adjusted the um, limiter um, here in the um, in the RPM limiter, uh, so we can swing it just a little bit more aggressively. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the most recent data log of this vehicle, which is, and I, again, I've already corrected this, but I'm doing it essentially the same way. Um, we're going to go here to the final product one log number two, and what we're the first thing we're going to do is we're going to. I can tell right now that uh, I'm logging all the correct PIDs, but I can see up here in Spark Advance that something's not right. So we're going to go to graphs layout. Uh, yes. That's going to be an issue. Looks like I have the same one open. Yeah, so you want to go over here, and we're looking at the Spark Advance. So we need the um, high octane table or the low octane table. Um, this is a speed density uh, tune, so it's only referencing the low octane table. We're going to go over here to row axes. We're going to copy the labels. We're going to come back. We're going to erase that. We're going to paste. And now all of a sudden, let's go decimals one. And we're going to come back over here. This is going to show us um, what our spark numbers are looking like. Okay, so nothing too crazy. Um, this is more or less going to be what I'm commanding. This vehicle is on good fuel, so I'm not too concerned about that. If I come over here to spark retard, um, I can see that I do have some knock. Um, this is in the tip in area. Okay, so 2000 to about 3200 is where you're going to be. Okay, um, and so it looks like, let's just go and check the uh, graphs layout, and we go to Spark Retard, and cell hits required two. Okay, so it has to hit it more than once, so we'll, let's change this to one decimal place. Yeah, so we're getting, you know, one degree of spark. It's not too bad. Um, you know, one of the things that's going to dictate this is your transmission tuning, your shift scheduling, and where it's shifting how far in the RPM band um, and the load. This is this is the area right here where it's you know um, it's getting into some some higher loads. So you've got to be a little more tedious with the amount of spark timing that you run. Okay, but if we say right here 2800 and 0. 0.44 grams, 0. 0.44, we're right around 26, 23, 27 degrees. I can tell you that 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 is what's being commanded. So that's good. Um, so I may go in here somewhere like in this region right here. And what you could do is we'll just go like minus 0.5. And then what we'll do is we will do a vertical interpolation there, a vertical interpolation here, and then maybe out to the sides, something like this. Okay, and then we can check our graph. And nothing too crazy, this doesn't look bad. Um, this is more or less the stock, um, an OEM calibration. The last thing you want to do is select all and then hit this button. Be very, very careful with this button. Okay, you really can find yourself getting into trouble. Okay, so that's going to be important there. Um, the next thing that we're going to do, this is speed density. So I would like to look at the short term fuel trim tables. Um, you'll notice here 210, this operating system was already converted to a two bar speed density. Uh, system. So if we go over here to operating system, there is no option. Okay, this vehicle did have a pro charger at one point, and it's going to have an LSA blower anyway, which is why it's scaled the way that it is. And we're also running it in speed density because we're not going to try to run a um, mass airflow sensor um, that way. And it seems to already be um, doing what it's supposed to do. Okay, so that will be that. So we want to go back over here to airflow. Um, and this primary VE is what we're going to be looking at. The only issue with this is that here's your 100 kPa line. This region here is going to be vacuum, okay? So this is going to be naturally aspirated stuff. This up here, essentially right now, from here down, is not being used, okay? You have very little resolution right here, so you need to be careful. That's why this um, table is scaled the way that it is. I'm really only concerned with this right here, okay? So I've got negative 10, so it's a little rich, it's negative 9, negative seven-ish, okay, so like 2,000 and below, um, and we're gonna looking at 90 kPa, so 2,000 and 90 kPa. So down here, um, I might take out 10%, so 0.9, well, oops, sorry, I hit it one, one more time. There we go. Oop, didn't do it. Times, and then what I would do is just take this maybe and smooth this so on and so forth. There again, you're kind of smoothing in this 110 kPa range, which you're not going to get to with 
naturally aspirated stuff, um, but that's okay. And we can see down here that this looks pretty good um, for right now anyway. A, a lot of this is a boost region, which you're not gonna reach naturally aspirated. This vehicle surprisingly runs really well with this low resolution table. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so I think in the data log, everything else, personal, I'm not, I don't think he was logging burst knock on this one, that's okay. Uh, but everything else in the log looks pretty good. There's nothing really of any concern. The throttle blade should not be closing in any way or anything like that. Um, you can see the little bit of knock down here that it gets into, not very much. That's honestly pretty acceptable. You could, you could even blame that on bad gas. Um, so everything else looks pretty good though. The oxygen sensors are oscillating the way that they're supposed to together. Um, and so if you go up here and you want to just check your work, you can go up here and this will show you um, your tune history and what has been altered. So all the things that you made changes on today. And I believe everything else is doing well. I'm gonna go to Spark. I just wanna check a couple of things. I would like to maybe take a degree or two out here, um, but since we're working on this, just to maybe to get it to idle a little bit more aggressively, but since we are um, trying to get this AC thing figured out, I'm not gonna go in and touch that just yet. But everything else looks to be good. It does have a three bar uh, map sensor in it, so it is calibrated correctly for that. You can see my high RPM disable is set to 12,000, as well as my engine diagnostic airflow is set to zero. Um, that way we have failed the mass airflow sensor. Electronic throttle, we're not gonna, there's differences here in these tables, but it's nothing to worry about. It's just from calibration to calibration. Um, so yeah, that is how I do, uh, that I, I kind of go through on just a case by case basis with these vehicles and I make slight changes in little areas and keep track of those. Um, you know, just kind of per what the customer says. This customer is very good about um, being specific with what it's doing and what they want. Oh, there's one more thing, one more thing. Um, the shift scheduling, he was saying that um, the one, two shift is a little too, happening a little too aggressively, okay? Um, and so we're gonna take about three miles an hour out of this up shift. So we're gonna go part throttle. We're gonna say, hmm. We're gonna set this to maybe 11 and we're gonna come up here and we're gonna go up to, from 19% throttle to let's say 62. We're gonna go minus three miles an hour plus that. And then we'll go over here, we'll interpolate this. This looks good. And then we're gonna come right here and we're gonna go 19%. Mm, Let's just take out two miles an hour. I want the downshift to happen too. We'll just make these nine. And I'm gonna make all of these seven. That should be okay. Yeah. And then what I'm gonna actually do too is take this. I'm gonna copy this. I'm going to paste this into my performance table. Not really concerned. Cruise or hot trans, not really too concerned with that. So what I would do now is I'd go ahead and save the file and uh, send it to the customer and tell them to go out and drive it again. And that would be that. So if you guys have questions about this, uh, we'll be doing a bunch more of these. And uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below. And I really uh, appreciate you guys watching. If you need anything, reach out to us. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one.